Hey guys, I'm back here with a brand new video, and um, today I'm going to be showing you what's inside my bug out bag. A bug out bag is kind of like a survival backpack. What, like, you go out in the wild and try to test it out to see if you can survive. Um, I got this for Christmas, all of it. This is the bag. I got a canteen, flashlight, and a sleeping bag right here. But um, I'm going to go with the little stuff on my body first. Um, this is my survival bracelet. Uh, it has a flint rod right here. I've already used it. Um, it has this in the handle. It has this little multi-tool. Yeah. Um, compass, whistle, flashlight. Pretty bright. So, yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna get into my pack. The whole thing weighs about 15 pounds. So, it's kinda heavy. So, I get the flashlight right here. Got my flashlight right here. Cool clip on the back. It's pretty bright. I guess it would wake you up if you shine in somebody's face. Okay, um, I'm going to talk about the sleeping bag. I put it on my compression straps to hold the pack so it doesn't have, so it um, doesn't take up much space. From my opinion, the sleeping bag is pretty big. I have not opened it up yet because I just got it yesterday. I don't know how warm it is. Um, it says it can stand up to 30 degrees Celsius. So I guess it's pretty cold. Um, temperature rising. It can stand up to 77 degrees Fahrenheit and 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the sleeping bag. Got it. Then in here, let's get into the bag. In this first pouch, I have some micro cord. You never know when you're going to need some cord that's really small. <laughs> um, I got this charger for the actual thing here but um this thing does not take batteries it's pretty bright flashlight um it's a crank so yeah um it's a solar panel and a emergency radio that has a little antenna and you can tune it and stuff you can change like which setting. So yeah. Then you can plug it into the wall with this and charge it or you can um charge your phone off of it. And um I got this little cord that goes in that goes to a compass. It's like a lanyard. This pouch is a little small. Okay, um, now you got this pouch right here. I got some kindling in this plastic bag with some wood shavings inside of it. I got some patches. It's a Mickey Mouse patch. Yeah. And a Adventure Awaits patch. Then I got my house key with a little paracord thing with a carabiner. 
Um, have some super glue. Let me talk much about that. I got this compass. It's really good. Um, in this manual about how to use a compass and how to coordinate which direction you're going in, how you know. Um, I got this pocket chainsaw. You just go like that against a tree and stuff, and it'll cut down. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Put all this stuff back. Let me down. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you have a bug out bag or you're into survival and you want one. Oh yeah, I forgot about one item. This is camel face paint. I don't really know why you would need that, but. It's there when you need it. Okay, no. We've got this canteen that comes out this. Yeah, it's only for water. You can't put anything else in it. Otherwise, it would get sticky and useless. Now, on to this. You cannot cook on this. This is only for eating purposes. Like that. <clears throat> like that. You have a little plate. I've never used it yet, and you have this little can thing. So that's that. It's only for eating purposes. You can't cook on it, otherwise it would get burn marks, and then you'd have to throw it away. There we go. Um, right here. This is the Sawyer Mini. It's a water purifier. Um, inside you, of course, get the Sawyer Mini. The actual water purifier. And you get this thing about how to use it. A huge chunk and syringe. This bottle. And a straw. Um, the Sawyer Mini would not break down on you. Uh, it has a lifetime warranty on it. And um, it can filter up to 100,000 gallons of water. And that's more than a human drinks in a lifetime. So you're set with that. Then I have this little multi-tool. This is an axe with a leather sheath. Hammer. Pliers in the middle. On here, you get a knife, a little multi-tool thing, um, screwdriver, saw, file, serrated edge, and a wedge. And it comes in this really, really bad sheath. I'd recommend getting a new one. But I haven't quite done that yet. Got one more item in this thing, I think. Yep. This is the sharp L. Um, it's a knife sharpener. You got a diamond coated rod for serrated edges. And if you can see it. There's a little groove right there. That's for gut hooks and fishing hooks. And then, um, this one is for sharpening your knife, and this one's for cleaning the knife. And then you got this really hard. I use pliers from this thing. 
get this really hard flint stick to get out. I have not used this yet. I would think it works. Hope it works. Well, you have to scratch the black coating off. Just so you guys can see sparks, I use my wristband one. Yep. So that's what's in here. I have not started a fire. I don't think I ever will, but maybe someday. Sure. Here we go. Let me just put all this stuff back. And now, this is the biggest pocket in my survival bag. Um, I call this the meat of the pack. So, the sleeping bag is supposed to go with my one person hammock. I've put the sleeping bag inside of the hammock, but I have not done that yet. As I said, I've never opened up the sleeping bag, but I've used the hammock pretty comfortable um it's really big even though it compacts down in this small small little bag um i like it because it's really compact and it's really portable so that's my hammock uh i guess i'll talk about these um these are glow sticks i really shouldn't be talking about these much um they're trail markers so you can find your way back they are yellow. They can last up to 12 hours. You get 10 of them in here. I'll talk about my first aid kit. This is my first aid kit slash survival kit. But there's one thing wrong about this. You get 160 Q-tips. <laughs> okay, so this is everything inside of here. This compass is falling. That's just a compass. Um, if you're wondering, it does come with a knife. This thing. I've sharpened it with a sharp bell. It, it's a pretty decent blade. On um, the locking mechanism, you just push down on here. Then the blade folds. Um, it has a pretty nice belt clip. But, um... I would not carry this on you. I just put this in my first aid kit because it's a first aid knife. So I just leave it in there. Got alcohol pads, gauze, um, tape, tweezers, band-aids. Everything that you need in here. So that's my first aid kit. Now I'll talk about my knife. Okay, so this is my Smith & Wesson Search and Rescue Knife. It's a six inch blade. Um, stainless, a seven CE stainless steel. And in this little pouch, pouch right here, you got a sharpening stone. 
this. It's 100 feet of red camo paracord. Um, and it's a 550-pound test. Then this is my Gerber Leatherman. I shouldn't talk much about this either. It says pliers, pliers, um, knives, scissors, um, screwdrivers, wedges, and stuff. So, yeah. So, that was my bug out bag. If you guys liked it, leave a like on this video. And, um... Yeah, guess that's it. Okay. See ya.